<laughs> Guys, welcome to Why Should We Care? We have our good friends. And Enzo. we're starting. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three. <laughs> I do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yeah. to Why Should We Care? Uh, we got our buddies Enzo and Eric here. They do not have last names. Uh, stick around. Listen to what they got to talk about. But here's our boys from Sleeping Bag. Why should we That was pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, there's music that plays. Oh, yeah, from the yeah. band Sleeping Bag. Yeah, or we used to have the guests say it, but they get it wrong all the time. Yeah. Do you want to guess our last names? No. Okay. <laughs> I I don't even know how to say your first name. Anza. Anza. Pretzel. Anza. And you're like your name is like something I just wouldn't order on a menu because I'm too worried about saying it out loud. Hmm. Pre snaps. Because you're too dumb to read. Oh, Anza pre snaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're cra- yeah, actually, yeah, you're pretty close. Pretty it's gonna close. be weird when he's introducing you at a show. The next comic, oh, oh boy! No, I don't, book, I, don't, I, don't book, I just don't book in. So. Yeah, just, <laughs> for that reason, I love his comedy, but I hate his name. <laughs> How come Ryan only books shows with Johns and Jakes? <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's pretty no. Do you know Eric's last name at all? Anthony. Sure, close. Yeah, yeah no, I still don't believe that no, at good. all. No, no one believes that. Yeah. <laughs> It's no, good. it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Smithstein. <laughs> Sanchez Berg. <laughs> That'd be a fun combo. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you guys don't even know what my name was supposed to be if I was born a girl. Yeah, I don't know that. Rihanna. <laughs> that was it. What's your guess? Rihanna. What's yours? It's Abby. <laughs> You didn't let me guess. I know. That was guess Abby. Abby. <laughs> What's yours? It's, it's Abby. Abby. <laughs> Do you have a sister? Uh-uh. No? She hot? Let's yeah. get out of here. What if she Let's did? Get out of here. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, to the careheads listening, today's a special episode. It's Rihanna's birthday. Ella, Ella, Ella. Big birthday, birthday plans. Let's make this your daily day. beat. Big daily beat, baby. I'm kicking it off. We got some Gallo family <laughs> wine. Ooh. Kicking it off. It's uh what, eleven AM, so Oh, that's could, what that tastes like? You're getting a tattoo today? You want to tell the listeners what you're getting? Um, yeah. Have you seen the movie Memento? Yeah. I'm getting a Memento tattoo. What, um, what's that? It's going to say, Still you know home. Nick Savarino, right? That was our last guess. Yeah, yeah. Guess? Uh, it's going to say, uh, mirrored on my, well, maybe you'll just see it on the mirrored? next episode. Yeah, if you haven't seen Memento, oh, okay. then. Is he going to get the same one? Yeah, hit, mine is going to say, Call Nick, watch Memento. His is gonna say, "Call Ryan, watch Memento." No, it isn't. Oh man, mm-hmm. have you seen Happy the movie birthday. Memento? <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting it on our penises. I haven't seen it since back in the day, and I don't remember it that well. I just know the guy. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't <laughs> it does, yeah, that's what I was trying I don't to say. With you guys, hold on a sec. I remember there was a guy in it. <laughs> yeah, I've never Harrison seen it. Ford. Nick's got a lot of matching tattoos with people. Yeah, he's a good friend. Yeah, yeah. The best friend. Wait, which one of that was at a dig at? Because all three, you can't see the <laughs> <Okay>. eyeballs. <laughs> all right, well, guys, uh, thanks for coming on. We invited you on uh, a few days ago, and we were going to talk about a couple things, but you guys just got back uh, from tour, yeah, uh, yes. for your jobs, uh, and we were like, "Hey, we'll just have them on the show. They could come on. We could riff about it." Because our original guest canceled. Oh, so thanks so much for coming in. Thanks yeah. for having well, us back. We were going to have Joe Rogan, but. The he's roadies. busy. He's yeah. pretty busy. He's busy. I heard he's, he's got a podcast of his own. Emails. What? No. I heard he's been busy with a podcast of his own. That's what he's doing instead of He's starting of his... something up. I heard it's going to oh. be a real experience. Maybe we'll contact him and we'll take turns <laughs> <laughs> being on each other's pods. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, well, Eric, you were on a couple like a month ago, the mushroom episode. Yeah, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, oh, <laughs> okay. you're you're officially part of the Careverse. Two episodes or more. You're, yeah, yeah, and a secret episode. You did a secret. Oh yeah, yeah we never released it during the. Um... That's how good it was. I know. No, you just got real racial. Oh, that too. No, that <laughs> yeah, happens. Just, just different times. <laughs> yeah, it was the early aughts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was the that attention the flat? was understood <laughs> back then. <laughs> Wait, right. I'm I'm in the Careverse as well. 
Yeah, yeah. You've actually hosted uh for I've got me. Two. Yeah. yeah. You got some in the in the bank there. This is like the old old fucking where was we got the band the Billups together. days? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was back at uh, Body Tape International. Body Tape International, <laughs> which I'm still loyal to. Now I know. Now I'm switched over the uh, comedy frequency. I'm still Body we, Tape, dude. You do think <laughs> you're still Body Tape? I'm still Body Tape. I gotta I say, Body Tape gave us some pretty sick T-shirts. I haven't got a comedy. What are we? You com- know what comedy we, connections. <laughs> you they know also we, gave you us a pretty s- comedy got. frequency. Sorry. You know what we have got. Sheathunderwear.com, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Um, Sheathunderwear.com. Dude, That's the most sponsor. comfortable underwear I've ever wore. Yeah. Plug in comedy ever. frequency for the promo code. You get 20% off. Suck my ass. You could with Sheath. Yeah. What's the website again? Sheathunderwear.com. Comedy there frequency is. is the promo. And for Whoa. our slow friends without rewind uh, accessibility, what was that? Sheath Those are too long. Did they make them shorter? Com. You can get them long, oh, you can there get them short, the red you can get, one. yeah, there you go. One. And what are the benefits of this And so I want that for Christmas. I mean, check out the website. You know the benefits. You <laughs> I mean, gotta, go to the website. We just said it. You got sheathunderwear.com. <laughs> Plug in comedy frequency. There's a pocket for your penis there's and a, for your balls. There's a sheath for your sheath. penis yeah. and, a, mm-hmm. and a pouch for your nuts. Yeah. Beautiful, then, beautiful technology. I think you could even get a pair uh, without the pocket. Or the and when you pull it out, it makes a sword sound. Yeah. No matter how small it is. I've got I've got the ex, I've really got the short Excalibur. short time. I've got the Excalibur. It's a little, it's a little shiv. <laughs> Shh, you can hear it if you listen. I call my wiener Excalibur when I put it in there because I also put a bunch of rocks in there to make it to fill it up. You got to pull that sucker out of the rocks. I call Just my damages pen- your testicles. I call my penis katana because one day I'm going to kill myself with it. <laughs> oh, <that's good. laughs> Sebaku. I thought you were saying that's yeah. my favorite character from Mortal Kombat. Can I cut your head off? When you do that? <laughs> from Mortal Kombat. Sebaku. It's a video game. Sebaku. Sebaku. I forgot he doesn't. Can know I cut anything. your head off when you do that? It'd be an honor. After I after I'm already dead. How would well, you, you stab k- yourself, gut it, and then you get your head cut off by the how, person? How would you kill yourself with your penis? I'm going to take it off and cut my guts out with it. You're going to take it off? It's a yeah. sharp penis. It's very sharp. <laughs> and detachable. <laughs> well, And it once. smells weird. <laughs> Unrelated, but it's got a weird scent. All right. Well, now you're giving me more reasons. Well, I might you... speed this up and kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I might stab you with my penis first yeah. before I kill myself. <laughs> I just wanted to incorporate the product. You're making this a little too personal. I just wanted to talk about sheath. He takes it Sheathunderwear.com. It's it got a smelly wiener, stink. y'all. Plug that in promo Last code. Last week, we probably... started the sheath thing. We just started talking about dead people we've met. <laughs> dead I didn't know it was going to go there. I think it would stink less with sheath because it's separated. Dead people we've met. <laughs> it does. So if your balls are sweatier, yeah, 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 if your balls are sweatier, your penis won't smell as bad. Yeah, but imagine sniffing that sheath Whew, inside out. Every bones. time my brother's been on a plane with a celebrity, they've died. No way. How yeah. many times, though? Is this one time? Three. Name One him. was Ryan Dunn. I don't remember the other two. Ryan Dunn's dead? Uh, Sheath.com, <laughs> people. <laughs> you know what would have saved his it's life? not even the website. <laughs> he, he died of a... Promo code Ryan Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> if some had been taming that hog, you would have been able to hold that steering Literally. wheel. Wait, who's, who's, who who were the other two? I can't remember. Oh, what a bummer. Oh. Um, Steve Owen. Steve was still alive. <laughs> he died a long time ago, sweetheart. <laughs> Who was the guy that died in another car wreck? Uh, Paul past, Walker. Yeah, Paul Walker. Paul Walker. I think of so Paul Walker funny, when dude. Ryan Dunn comes up too. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think of Paul Walker often. It's like the same thing. Do you think they ever raced each other in real life? Yeah, that's how. <laughs> but Paul right? Walker won. <laughs> he's, well, then again, Ryan. I don't know. <laughs> okay. he who died? Who died acted. in a cooler car? Oh man, I think Ryan Dunn. Right. They were both Fiats, rented Fiats. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a Lamborghini Diablo. <laughs> rented Fiat. Just rented, just used Fiats. <laughs> what is, it was a Porsche. Dunn's was a Porsche. Oh, wow. Ryan, Dun- Ryan Dunn's was, or Paul Walker's was a, we're Porsche? looking it online, so don't even, if you're listening, don't look this up. Were they both Porsches? Paul Walker died in a smart car. <laughs> they still have those. Man, I thought it was a car accident, not an electric skateboard. Dude, and, uh, wow, no. what the heck? That was one of them That's one of them scooters? goofy websites that lies about stuff. Dude, a Carrera GT. They both died in Porsches. Everything in that was. Bump, bump, bump. I'm coming for you, Porsche. 911. Let's look up a what? Porsche. What? The planes were Porsche planes? Porsche 911. 911. <laughs> 
The Germans have been behind it all along. The Germans. So you guys... Uh, Wait, look have you the... been to Germany? Yeah. I was about to say, you guys just got back from traveling around the world. Where, where all did y'all go? We went to... This Jap- time... Yeah, this time was just Japan and Mexico. So oh, Mexico all around cities. the world to me. Mexico <laughs> City. Oh, this time was just Japan and Mexico. Yeah, just usually it's more countries. places. He's done more. Yeah. Oh what were you guys... Uh, do you want to tell our listeners who don't know you guys uh, what y'all do for a living? Pyro pyrotechnicians. See, I thought you were a roadie. No, you know, no, no, they're very, 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 very different. You were a yeah. Yeah. Very different. Sometimes. <laughs> See, I thought you guys just fucked the band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they pay for your travel and your room and travel. They don't even enjoy it? <laughs> no. That is what we tell no, people. You guys are paying out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> we ride in our own little separate car when we're there. We just follow the band around. <laughs> we do pyrotechnics for bands. Movies. What does that mean? Do you, TV do you make shows? the gunpowder? Sometimes no, comedy on, shows. Man. Yeah, sometimes comedy shows. <laughs> Nobody thought that. <laughs> no, we usually need pyrotechnics. No, no. In the past, the I have. Do you make yeah, the yeah. explosives? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Or do you just I have before? Set them up on movie stuff. We usually make. Yeah. We don't know what exactly they want. You like yeah. a mad scientist mixing them? That's yeah, scientists. I did that more when I yeah. <laughs> like <it's laughs> yeah guys who know what they're doing. Yeah, yes. do y'all make a also like you worked on movie and TV sets before? Like, yes. do you make like the swords and shit? Because I know Squids, you weld right? and stuff. I've done right? that before. Yeah, and I know you've like made like literally created shit. I'm like, yeah, it's a I do effects fabrication. So anything they need uh, for the effects department, I'll build. But I have also done some prop making as well. You got wow. any squibs on you? Uh, not on me. Oh, we should have brought some. Shh. That would have been fun. How easy is it to get squibs? Uh, through him, it, it's not too hard. <laughs> you have a squibs guy? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't those really? Da- are they dangerous? Oh yeah, <clears throat> so dangerous. Depends on which ones you're using. That's why only people like me can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how to guys... handle them. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah. yeah, only guys who go on podcasts and talk about mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> they for some reason are the best. To I, da- handle I dated those. a girl uh, a long time. <laughs> you got to be a serious drug addict I, to get this license. <laughs> I, I dated Careful, a girl a long man. time ago, and she background checked me. And uh, she's like, hey, you know you're on, like, a government watch list with the ATF. I was like, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I have really, a license. You're making Yeah, I literally yeah. paid them to put me on that list. <laughs> yeah. So if That's, you, but I thought I thought it was pretty cool. If you that see, is cool. If you see those like news stories with like concerts getting lit on fire, Michael Jackson getting hit by the pyro was a big one on the Pepsi, Pepsi commercial. commercial. Oh, yeah, Can that we, was hairspray. It's because these two bozos are the ones setting up the. Pyro. <laughs> these that are was, the kind of guys are setting. It's up. not as. You want to talk about ACL? That was the early nineties, dude. I'm not <laughs> talking about Pepsi. I know you ain't got that. Wait, what Pepsi was ACL? <laughs> the early nineties, dude. That thing hitting someone's manager. <clears throat> Where's you someone's... almost lit someone on oh, fire. Oh <laughs> no, we were doing ACL. Um, <laughs> it was, I think it was Zed, and they had a we had a high aerial pyro, so like shit that goes like way up in the no, air. No, I absolutely know what that means. Yeah, yeah I figured. I was telling <laughs> the glad you explained we it. Did, yeah, uh, thank, thank you. you. High, high in the yeah, air, yeah. so it has to be high aerial Norman pyro. It has to be okay, now what? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm lost again. <laughs> you can be close or you can be far. It's yeah, it's, it's binary like that. No, but you, the bigger stuff yet to be further away. So it's on these lifts, and our boss. This is who our boss was. Our boss checked firework tubes like big six inch firework tubes while smoking a cigarette one time just because he's like oh, i'm over this and for the viewers <laughs> at home you shouldn't do that you shouldn't smoke anywhere around fireworks well we don't how smoke. do you know until you, you gotta live you can't learn to win until you learn so to this lose. guy just like Try cuts it. corners <laughs> he's he's grumpy all the time and we're we put stuff on the lift and i go hey man the the angles are pretty pretty big i think they're gonna hit the handrails we should take the handrails off he's like nah it's fine fuck the handrails so i'm like okay you're the guy <laughs> and then first shot the the pyro hits the fucking rails oh my God. and it goes off and it hits skrillex's manager right <laughs> in the fucking face that's how we got that oh, <laughs> that's right how we in the got face? that haircut who no, the manager. no no the manager oh, yeah, yeah. so it's for zed skrillex is going on after i don't think zed. it was zed i thought it was a daytime show no no uh, it was, what happened to the manager? Yeah, was his yeah, face matter, okay? Did he have to go to the uh, hospital? No, he didn't have to go to the hospital, but he was pretty, pretty pissed. <laughs> you know, he just, you're not getting like face third is all burnt burn? up. He's yeah. just no, hitting no. on girls and shit. Hey, my face <laughs> got hit or blasted by a fireball or some shit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fire him later. <laughs> yeah, he's, like he's out of here, but off. just ignore I have the, that the dust. It on hit my him face. in the face. <laughs> it hit him in the face, and he was like, what? The last show, the European tour I did back in the summer, was the very top of the show. I hit the cue. 
the mind is mind is like a colorful little blast. It hits a uh, stage prop, goes into the back of the guy's hair <laughs> wig, and me and my two coworkers, we just watch oh. it. We watch it go into the back of his head, and we like just look at each other and we're like. Uh, and then nothing uh, happened. We're like, oh, dude, thank you. He was That's just chilling and it just put itself out. <laughs> yeah, it completely put itself out. That's just literally what wig. happened to Michael Jackson, though, right? Yeah, but he uh, <laughs> was... Because they got hair product. That shit could light I think he up. had uh, children come all over him. That's way more flammable. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. uh, He's I a professional. Didn't... He would know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if he'd been wearing sheaths, <laughs> yeah. that could have the whole situation. That cum would have yeah. gone in that little pouch. Yeah. Everyone knows knows how flammable little boy com is. Just plug in Does comedy frequency on sheath underwear. Uh, best underwear in the world. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys said it, you said Mexico City in Japan. Yes. Uh, you've been to Japan before, right? I, I have. Yeah. 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 All right. Same. Uh, how's Japan? It's well, awesome. What was the, your cool. experience like this time? Uh, I've never been at all, obviously. It was uh, shorter. But... It was short. Yeah. We, uh, we ate some good food. Mm. Uh, there was some misunderstandings when we asked for a rigger to come help us I think oh, due no. to linguistic, linguistic <laughs> aspect. Yeah, I'm going to let you finish this sentence. Uh, <laughs> this story. <laughs> what was the complication? Uh, they they were saying a different word back. <laughs> Which one? What we do didn't, you mean? We didn't know if we were allowed to laugh <laughs> when they said that. Yeah, it was... So he said it, nervous he shit said it four different he times. He said it four <laughs> times. Yeah, can we get the rigger to drop the uh, concussion tanks? Oh. Like, oh. oh. You oh. corrected y'all? Oh. No, no, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Is it, like, uh, pretty racist out there or what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Just uh, that one guy ja- in that I mean, one situation. Generally, Japanese people are pretty... I mean, racist. in Japan, they're pretty racist. But oh, really? usually it's just... They hate the Chinese, Chinese people. Yeah. They really hate Chinese people. How do they feel about uh, Americans? How, how do you guys get treated when you're out there? They treat us very... They're very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Are they kind of just like, whoa, Americans? Or are they just like, oh, Americans? Pacaero. <laughs> oh, are they like, Pacaero? When you go... Baca. If you go in like the smaller towns and areas, then people will kind of look at you, like double take a little bit. But if you're in Tokyo, then no, yeah. one, no one knows. But also Jap- Gai- Gaijin? Japanese culture, right. they kind of like stick to themselves. They don't really... Yeah. They're sticky? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked Enough of this up, bullshit. Dude. Let's talk about the shenanigans. What I was, did you boys get into down I, there? I, Give I was us in the a, dirty dates. I was in a subway, and it was oh. it was like... <laughs> <laughs> it was getting really, really, really crowded. I was crowded. in a subway, and oh, getting my dick sucked. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It was really, really crowded. And like in Japanese culture, you don't really talk to strangers. You don't like help strangers out. You kind of just... Stay like you just stay, stick to yourself. Are it you was, sure you just weren't being rude? It yeah. was no, no. I was being nice. I was being nice. It was really, really crowded. You couldn't really move. And this girl was in front of me, and she was swiping, but not for like tender. She was swiping on like uh, outfits, so you can left swipe an outfit or right swipe an outfit. Oh, okay. And uh, she stayed on one outfit for like five seconds, and I leaned in. I was like, I like that one. And she was, ah! and she <laughs> Did she really? Yeah. She, she like, left? Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. He's breathing over her neck. Hey. I want to see you wear that one. <laughs> that Americans. One, that one would look good on my floor the, tomorrow morning. <laughs> so you say it into your like phone to translate it? <laughs> <laughs> this lady tricked me into going to a woman-only uh Men's bar? <laughs> she tricked you? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Men so in- the le- the two times I've been to Tokyo, I, they have these things called host and hostess clubs. And it's if you go to a host club, it's where you get hosted. And a hot muscle guy or a hot guy in general like None waits on your table. Hell yeah. You, you went to one. Nice. Yeah, and I didn't see one muscle you, guy. Can you chill out? We're supposed to teach them how to do I friendship could chill on this episode. Out. <laughs> yeah. Can we get the room for a second? You could chill yeah. out. We'll, if, yeah, we'll step out. We'll yeah. step out. Yeah. I could yeah. chill out yeah. if I saw a guys. single hot guy. <laughs> <laughs> but then if you go to the men are supposed to go to the hostess bars where a hot lady waits on you. If the women go to a host bar and a hot guy and they're like really charming and blah blah blah. And I wanted to see one really bad. So last time I was in Japan, I, I met this Korean lady and I was like, let's go to a host bar. And we we walked in, and they immediately looked at us, and like without hesitation, were like, "Leave, go, no, 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 no," and like kicked us out. And I couldn't tell if it was because it was a man and a woman, or because she was Korean, or because I was white. 
I don't know why they kicked us out. Could have been because uh. your dick was out. It was uh, no, they like that. They like that. <laughs> that was I told you, I call I call it the katana. As they were <laughs> as they were kicking you out, they let you know they like that. They go, that's okay, but good out, <laughs> good out. Yeah. So Dick stay, you leave. Mucho bueno. <laughs> so me, and, oh, wrong place. It's not because of that. Get out. <laughs> Just make it clear. So ever since, I've still been so curious. I'm like, I want to know what the inside of a host. Yeah, looks I thought like. you were gonna tell I me. I want to go so bad. And so I met this Japanese lady, and I was like, I want to go. And I, and Eric was with us, and she was like, yeah, we can go to one. And they so, say I walked in with Eric, same guy. He went, oh, hell no. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> Put it away. Dick out again. That's fine. <laughs> well, that we, hasn't changed. Great form. But you, you go. <laughs> three, out. Well, we found one, and she kind of pushed us to the front, and we start walking in, and I look back, and she's waiting outside. And I was like, come on. And she shook her head no. And I was like, wait, what's about to happen? And right, was she <laughs> right as I stick my head, no, not yet, but right as I stick my head in, there's literally a Japanese guy with his hands on Eric's back being like, go! Pushing please. me out. Pushing oh, me really? out. And he's yeah. upset. Aggressively. And, and Eric's Oh, why do you keep coming back? <laughs> and, I don't remember what you said at first, but but Eric was like, ID? ID? Oh, trying to show him ID? Trying to steal misunderstanding. Oh, no, I'm over 21. So then I, <laughs> then I went, oh, it's the masks. We need to wear masks. And we put the oh, masks on. God. And he was like, go! <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were going to say the masks work. Because it's girl. <laughs> no, no. He goes, no, we we didn't. And get, I, I saw we two didn't even guys, get a taste of hot. I saw guy. two guys in there. They weren't hot. They weren't muscular. They had full. They were fully clothed. Th- those were the hostesses, or yeah. those were the people who seat you. Yeah, I'm guessing. I don't know. No, Whoa, th- I didn't see any hot guys. They should yeah. be. There yeah, were pictures of hot guys on bar, the right? To see the cute guys, right? Yeah, it's it had pictures of guys, but they're very like twinky, like very like. Not your type. Not my type. Dude. Yeah. No muscles. No, no bears. <laughs> no, yeah. But anyway, anyway, like a gay I want the person. Yeah, I want the person suck. seating me <laughs> to <laughs> carry me to my seat. Yes. Yeah. That's how I. Want but we got kicked out, and I turned to that woman, and I was like, "What the hell was that?" And she was like, Ha-ha, "I knew that was going to happen." Americans so she, stupid. And she was she, like, she "Yeah, they just don't let men in there." Okay. And I was like, ah, bummer. So, yeah. So apparently, not even on staff. Little twink ass noodle oh, wimps. I see. <laughs> yes. What? No, okay. The staff then weren't men because they're noodle arm wimps. We could work there. About it, yeah. But dude, we would thrive there. We would. Do I, I would so love good. to be your assistant manager. Would you treat me fairly? Would you treat me fairly? I'm the assistant. <laughs> oh, oh, like I'm the manager. <laughs> yeah, the you're assistant. the big boy. Oh, nice. He treats people fairly. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Am I a good assistant? You're not my assistant. How the fuck do I know? You don't help me with anything. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are my assistant, no, you're no, not you're a good bad. one. <laughs> well, maybe you're not a good manager. Delegate better. I didn't ask to be judged. <laughs> do y'all need the room? Yeah, could yeah, you give us the room? Just, yeah, <laughs> for a second, need a handle Actually, can we just switch? <laughs> the two of us go. He hates it. <laughs> Sitting there. Do you guys want to do a review of each other? Like a, you know how every 60 days. Yeah, you guys go first, though. Uh, Eric, I respect you so much. I love you. You're such a good oh, travel God, partner. You're such yeah. a good coworker. Oh, you're such a good boss. That you're, is you're such good. a sub 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 sub. You're a sub 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 sub. I fucking love you work so much. And you're I can't patient. Live you're, I can't live without you. I can't tour without you. Actually, actually I never want to tour without you. I would never do that again. I would quit the job forever and do something. Else. I wouldn't quit the job, but I'd be sad. <laughs> 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 our right. our first tour together was probably one of the funnest. We did a uh, Monster Jam. Oh, that was what is Monster Jam? The Monster Truck. Pull up Monster Jam. Safe search off. <laughs> and if this ain't monster semen then i'm done i would just type in monster semen we, you remember uh, that that uh, song that's what i call my cum monster jam yeah so we we used to do pyro this was my the first touring gig come. the monster come and it was uh they would call it weekend warriors oh, so yeah, you fly out on thursday uh-huh. you do the gig one city all weekend maybe there's uh, one show getting teary eyed looking at these pictures and you're in the pyro Sunday. for it yeah yeah wow so, so you're there friday sick. and saturday night yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, leave Sunday. Okay, and every night's just a And it blast. was like the easiest. Like it, it was just like a lot to like walk. But our crew chief was this big fat guy who just didn't want to do anything, which uh-huh. was fine. He wanted he was like, I'll stay in the room and hot glue stuff. While y'all two, <laughs> what he was doing? I like crafts? It, while y'all two walk around and like do all the wiring. You always had, work with an older bozo, don't you? <laughs> Just like the guy with the cigarette. Like, oh, we're fine. Ain't that I'm ca- the older ain't bozo? That capitalism, baby. <laughs> I got like, a promotion. Work for yeah, an hey, older go, bozo. get those away from the handrails now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like, uh, uh, that, I've never been to a monster truck rally. It looks like fucking fun. Yeah, I. So I thought when I first signed up for the tour, I was like, oh, I'm like a cool jaded guy. Oh. 
Oh my God. And you're setting up explosives on major <laughs> events and you can't figure out headphones? I figured it out. I figured it yeah, out. Yeah, I, I thought when I first signed up, I was like, Psh, I'm like, cool, cool, jaded guy. There's no way I'm going to like these monster trucks. By the third show, I was like, come on, Grave Digger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so awesome. It's bet. so bad. Just that picture I was there. I was like, man, how much are tickets? And to it's that? like, let's the, go. The, the opening queue is just like, a, like the all the trucks come out and there's one queue, then there's a. Uh, what do they call it? Then? Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Dude, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <I forget. laughs> this country sucks. Pledge, Pledge Allegiance. Allegiance too. Well, so so we do. Uh, start. We do. Uh, not Pledge of Allegiance. The Star Spangled Banner. Well, he oh, yeah. he doesn't know because we're both on, taking knees, so we don't really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, take knees that part. I shoot it while taking a knee. Taking what? Facing oh, away. Taking yeah, they're Kaepernick yeah. in the. Yeah. the yeah. But our, our boss. <laughs> monster monster truck truck <laughs> our boss just wanted to stay in the pyro room. So anytime we, you have a, to, a show, you have like a, a room you can lock. So you have, we always have our own room. And he's like, you do, you can do all, whatever you want. You can take the rental car. You can do whatever you want. I just want to stay in the pyro room, sit down, and wire and hot glue. Because we had to hot glue like all these little things. Uh -huh. So we had 20 positions around every like football stadium. Classic also, 20p. Gotcha. Uh, side note, if Monster Jam ever comes to Austin, don't go. Because it's always like in a little... Arena, it's too small, of an and arena. they all they do is like little pop willies. They don't do like a full. Well, on what show. if I get a free ticket? Don't go. To, go. No, go to don't, San Antonio. Seriously, what don't if I go. get paid to go? <laughs> San don't Antonio, go. the San, San Antonio Monster Jam is <laughs> yeah. sick. Anytime, but then you got to go to San Antonio. Yeah, it's only an hour. Remember drive. the Alamo? Oh, more more like remember the Monster Jam. <laughs> get a puffy taco. Monster Jam. So we would we would do all the work, and and we, they always gave us uh, golf carts or side by sides. You know the little like work golf carts. Uh -huh. So we would always go to lunch late. The guy would like, you want to go to lunch? Like, no, we're going to finish our work. He's like, God, we really hired two of the right guys. You really are there for the job. So they would all go to lunch, and the whole field would be empty, and we would just drive yeah, golf carts drive over the fucking the <laughs> monster <laughs> truck. We really picked the, really pick awesome. the right guys, and they come back, and your mangled corpses are underneath <laughs> yeah. the golf cart off, going sideways off a ramp. Worth it. <laughs> oh, did y'all get photos and stuff? And, and yeah, yeah, I've got a few. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. It was so it was one of the funnest, and like the pay was terrible. Like, but like the, the job was easy, and it was we had to hang out. There was a good we. Uh, this is kind of a long story, but it, it oh, pays well, off, then don't I bother. swear. Don't <laughs> so, <bother. laughs> oh, boy. Go, go, go. Here we go. <laughs> but it, uh, It's my birthday today. They would... <laughs> well, I do, have a, I do have the last time you picked me up from the airport here story. Where you the first Enzo picked me up 2016 once I was in town. And Sounds Enzo, like a real blast. Not from the airport. You, you gave me a ride from the hotel or something. It was when I recorded my album. Whatever. Yes, it doesn't matter. Yes, yes. You have an but album? He, but he picks me up. Yeah. I'm Couple. on it. Opening track and yes, closing and track. closing track. And his name's best, Wait, before we get too far away, Josh, album. did you ever go to Monster Jam in San Antonio? Oh. Okay. You look yeah, like yeah, a Monster Jam. You're from Jam San Antonio. Dude. My bad, my bad. Continue. continue. Seems like a Monster Truck well, guy. No, Enzo picks I get in the car, and I think I had met Enzo once, basically once before that. In L.A. In L.A. And he goes, hey, uh, I don't remember if we were going to or from the club, but he goes, hey, uh, Got a bunch of fireworks in the trunk. You want to go shoot them off? And I was like, no, nah, man, just drop me off at the hotel. <laughs> we didn't I, go do it? We didn't go do it because I said, I was like, it was either on the way to, it was like, I, I was fucked up. I thought you were up. cool, man. I love fireworks. What? Oh, man. You thought I was cool? Dude, we used to race ball rockets on the street all the time. Dude, well, Enzo has that when you said like <laughs> he was side. like uh, I have this in my car fireworks so it reminds me like we were all at an event hanging out once and uh, somebody was like man did you see Enzo's laser yet <laughs> and I was just like what I already knew something awesome was happening and it, uh, they told me we walked oh, to his car oh at the lake house yeah, yeah. You in your truck you had that uh, cool like laser uh, it shoots all the way into the sky yeah. and it's funny I see that kind of stuff every now and then I've never seen anybody who actually had one yeah that was a cool toy <laughs> I was like I would just it. use that on people in the street <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> people would think like a future gun burned a know. hole in my shirt did you ever it? play Cyclops yeah. with it? You just put it up like from X Men, and you just and you just. Light I just it up. play. How many airplanes can I shine it at near the airport? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. How many have you got? There he is. Did a lot. <laughs> that, that's yeah. actually a thing, right? No, it's like a it's super a, serious it's a super, federal crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, I remember. Remember the. And the time only reason I brought it up is to tell kids at home. 
don't shine lasers at airplanes. <laughs> Instead, buy sheets. Isn't underwear. that what happened yeah, with nine eleven? Twenty percent off. That is what happened with nine eleven. Yeah, people don't know that. It was an accident. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was it was an dick. accident. <laughs> Somebody shined a kid, a kid shined a laser in one of the pilot's eyes. And Dick ah, Cheney's he, son. <laughs> yeah, he was because he was the plane was to go sideways through the towers. What was well because he was trying to teach plan. people. He was like. <laughs> It was a tour guide, and he was like, see, there's the towers, and that's yeah, an airplane, yeah. and he was showing people. Dude, were you one of those, uh, remember when the laser lights barely came at the laser pins, and uh, like every uh, like live event that would be happening, you'd yeah, always see would, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the artist's yeah. face like singing and shit? When we were in Mexico, people were still doing that. Still? Oh, yeah. still oh funny, man. When it was happening, I felt like... Uh, uh, it was never going to go away. I was like, why would anyone why stop would? doing it? It's this? so fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was just, well, mass shootings probably changed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just at a concert with your favorite artist, a little light bulb. <laughs> yeah. they're playing the oh, light. Jesus Christ. Okay, concentrate. Is somebody <laughs> having fun or are they about to get assassinated? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, maybe. I wonder if there was an the SNL or something back in the day where somebody was doing it at somebody on SNL. Oh my gosh. Like, How'd they get that in here? <laughs> I don't know. I think we should bring it back, but use your laser. <laughs> Is that oh. why I know aliens aren't real? And because if they were real, they then they're not funny because they'd be flying around just laser pointing like we do with cats. We yeah. use the laser point. Oh. It seems like aliens are way more serious than us. It's fucking late, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up or down. I don't know if you're in the crust or in the sky, but god damn, the crust. Do the something sky. funny, dude. Like pop yeah. out at a presidential campaign and be like, "Yo, I'm an alien," and then like pull my finger and then the, like do something funny, alien. It is funny they that they fingers? mostly just mess with fighter jet pilots and farmers. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they're so <laughs> <farmers>. serious. <laughs> are they still abducting so these serious. farmers? What was the story you're gonna tell? That was too uh, long. New Orleans. So we did Monster Jam. So the cool thing is they would give us. Uh, I know you've been waiting to tell. You got cut off on that story. She this and I episode yeah. Monster Jam. <laughs> so we did. They would Why give us. Why should care about Monster Jam? Yeah. They would, did Monster Jam in New Orleans. Do a New Orleans, Kentucky accent. Or a, New Orleans, Kentucky. A New Orleans, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. We well, you tell Monster the story. Jam in the body. Well. Down down New Orleans way, they want a monster truck show down. <laughs> oh, I love monster trucks. <laughs> so we uh. <laughs> we put on our best suspenders. Bought local marijuana. We got, they said they won the tires made out of gator skin <laughs> on the monster truck. So instead of oil, we use swamp water. Instead of oil, <laughs> <laughs> it ruined everything. <laughs> we jumped maybe 2,000 little bottles of Tabasco <laughs> down there. <laughs> Yeah, instead so, of dirt, we use Zatarain's rice. Yeah, so, yeah, they did the whole thing doing donuts and dirty rice. Uh, the, yeah. the prize were beignets. <laughs> All the beignets you could eat. Your Honor. <laughs> I don't know why there's a Your Honor. Your, your Honor. Your Honor. They say down there that's where I, they invented the monster truck. <laughs> I do declare they Grave said, Digger as the winner. They needed all that clearance to drive through the swamp. Oh, no. That was the most fun inflection. Is yeah, that really I, what happened? Do I need to do, really do that to the whole story? Yeah. No, yeah. Except yeah. So, so, more, right? yeah, do the whole thing. It's, it goes it's so back good. Into it, so down there, they, so they give us free tickets to get out to people down there, friends and family. <laughs> we give them free tickets to the Monster Truck Show. <laughs> Just for the record, this this character I'm doing is white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a white yeah, Cajun he was. man. He's okay. very assumed he was yeah. white. Very I'm white. not even joking. They're, if you meet Cajun people, they well, it's hard to understand. Know. I've only they met do white do Cajuns. That. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> they would give us tickets. We could give tickets to like people we knew. And there was one night, me and Eric were. It was my first time in New Orleans, and we were at the casino. Hurrahs. And we were at the blackjack table, and, I, and Eric was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, <laughs> that did sound just it's a perfect like, Eric. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> and I was like, uh, you know what I've never done? I've never, and you seem like you'd be big into this. I've never been to a strip club before. I am very big into it. <laughs> You're it's a, a strip club back, guy. Right? <laughs> uh, it's a DJ. No, I'm not. <laughs> and uh, I was like, dude, for my first, we're in New Orleans. For my first time going to a strip club, can we find the grossest? dirtiest most horrible one we can find in new orleans and eric was like that sounds sweet <laughs> and so we look at the all the like google reviews and we find one 
that's like this is Chica's Cochina. Cochina. You know yeah, I was like, this is a this is like a can we look at that war crime? No, no, no. Oh, okay. uh, one point five star. Yeah, yeah, we found the one with like the lowest ratings, the most horror stories, so and that's we're my club. That's it. <laughs> and we're we, we're walked down there. I think it was in the, somewhere in the French Quarter, and we're we're walking down there. Eric buys some weed off these gutter punks. It was uh, pretty good weed too. Rock on. Yeah, and and we're walking down there, and we get up, and it's like still kind of early-ish in the night. It's like nine or ten, so they're trying to get people in. So we walk up to the door guy, and he's like, "It's a ten dollar cover," and we were like, "Oh, all right." And he's like, "But," and he leans in, and he goes, "You put five dollars in my tip jar right now. I'll get you in and out all night." And we're oh. like, "What?" And he's like, "Just put it in the tip jar, cash, and I'll let you in and out all night." Which might have been maybe. Don't go no tell my manager I made this was, deal. Yeah. <laughs> he's about to risk his job. You for let him $5? in and he sees you talking to the manager well, immediately. They, they wanted more people. They, 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 they were even... suffering. They wanted they wanted bodies in the in the room. So they yeah. so he marks he marks our hands or whatever, and we walk in. This is my first time in a Enjoy, immediately gentlemen. there's like on a Is that it? Stilettos cabaret? That might have been it. Shout out. 2.2. Things have gotten better. Oh, my God. Big Daddy's You can't. You can't look up Wait, anything to, under two stars. Yeah, go to Big Daddy's. So Wait, go on, go on. Yeah, story, go on, yeah. Enzo. So I walk in. That's it. And Literally? I remember that truck. Wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he was sitting in. Wait, that's is that it? Grave Digger? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's. Oh, we got to drive Grave Digger, by the way. I forgot to mention really? that. So yeah. We drove yeah. it to the strip club. No, yeah, yeah. Not. I was going to say. <laughs> no, so I walk in, and there's a... Like a very tiny, emaciated-looking one woman in a in a unitard, like like quivering on the stage <laughs> uh, and and uh, flailing, hot. and like a couple like five guys like really close to the stage, like gritting their teeth, like ah. And I turned to Eric and I was like, "This is too dark. We got because there was yeah. just one stage. It was tiny." I was like, we got to go out back. And Eric was like, oh, I want to smoke anyway. <laughs> so we go out back and we're out back. And there's like, I'm like, dude, check this out. And there's these little outbuildings behind that are just a bed and a red light. And I was like, this is fucking dark. And, and Eric was like, what do you think happens there? I was like, I, I, I couldn't even imagine. And so we, Eric rolls up these joints. Oh, no, I don't roll up the joints. That One of the strippers did. With One of the, the butt strippers cheeks? did. No, this is... I don't know how to roll a joint. (laughs) Oh, I did, actually. Remember, that was the trip where I found out I could do it. Yeah, Remember sure. we did it in, the in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. So we rolled the guys. Who rolled the J? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We gotta, we gotta know. It doesn't matter. The point is, the jo- the joints were rolled by someone, right. and we needed a lighter. And Eric was That's Eric. There was, was there was one other person out there, and it was this old like Bayou lady. And Eric was like, "Do you have a lighter?" <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah, kill you. let me get it." And she was smoking a cigarette, and so her and Eric start passing this joint back and forth. And she was like. What are you guys in town for? And Eric's like, oh, we work, for, we work for Monster Jam, the Monster Truck Show. And she's like, oh, that's so cool. That's wonderful, honey. Like, what well, a great job. Blah, blah, blah. And so we're talking and and we're, we're, we're starting to have fun and, and we're enjoying talking to this lady. And then the stripper comes out, the one, the emaciated lady from the stage with braces and the unitard. And she comes out and she looks at us and I shit you not, I swear on my life, she goes, Mama, how'd I do? And the lady goes, oh, baby, you were like a sexy Pocahontas up there. <laughs> oh, you did so good. And I just turned to Eric. I was like, we got to get the yeah, fuck yeah. out. This is too <laughs> dark. Baby. So, that's so, a movie story. Like, that's so a we, sad movie. Yeah, it was sad. Give me that joint back, lady. So we, <laughs> we're out of here. <laughs> What's on your lips? Why, are we, why am I sharing One last puff. <laughs> <laughs> she smokes the whole joint in one inhale. <laughs> so we leave. Like, Donna, you don't want none down. of this. <laughs> We leave. We go to a few more places, and one of the places we go, and we get kicked out because a stripper told me my breath was too bad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow, well, was it? Was that true? Was no, bad. hold yeah. on. Turns you on. were the disgusting. She goes, you shared, a, you shared a joint with she that comes other up, lady. She comes up to us, and she goes, you guys want to have fun? And Enzo goes, you got Uno? You got Monopoly? Oh, well, there and you we go. Start, we she start, was like, whoa! We start, no, we start oh. naming all these games, <laughs> I wish I and she's not having it, breath. dude. We're being goofy. <laughs> she's not having it. She's just staring at us, and she goes... You trying to be funny, but your breath stank. Oh, it was the, it was oh, the yeah, hardest yeah, yeah. I've ever been shut down. <laughs> That's a rough, yeah. but I'm, the, I'm kind of on her side. No, it doesn't. no yeah, I, it, I do have an issue. I bet your breath. No, I bet your breath didn't even. That's where they hit. No, his just... breath always stinks. Oh really? <laughs> That's yeah. why we don't. I'm always chewing gum. You know what helped that sheathunderwear.com. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> they got a sheath for your. Tongue. I've been chewing on little pieces of sheath 
free gum with your first <laughs> order. <laughs> Wait, keep going. Cause so then <laughs> we go to a few more places. We go to like four or five more places. Later in the night, we have these tickets and we're like, oh, I really want to get a picture of us tipping a stripper with, <laughs> or a sex worker, sorry, <laughs> tipping a sex worker with the, can you can you say a stripper? I don't know. You can say yeah, stripper. Yeah, strippers and both. Stripping is just dancing. It. Are you talking about a prostitute? A dancer. Dancer. I want to get a picture of us tipping someone with these tickets to yeah, Monster they, Jam. They love taking pictures in strip clubs. Yeah, yeah, we learned that. And so. <laughs> no, they really do. You had to learn that? And so, I, it was my first time, County. Sorry you're a seasoned strip club guy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that before I got in there. <laughs> he did his like, research oh, first. Sad. That just makes sense. I left I got, my phone in the car. So I got Somebody the, doing the saddest thing in their life. Life at that moment maybe doesn't want their picture taken yeah some people consider it an art form <laughs> so i got the biggest flash i could buy and we go down no, just not the saddest thing we don't the biggest do pictures <laughs> yeah I, I, get, <laughs> I say ladies hold still just printing <laughs> it out right there <laughs> so we go down and we find we go back to this eric's like let's go to that same spot we started and so we walk down there and we're and at this point there's a line to get in there and it's stretching out into the french quarter <laughs> And we're standing in line, and there's these two women in front of us, and they're like cute our age. And one of them says something to like their friend that walks by, and that that enables us to like we're starting we start talking to them, mm-hmm. and we're and everyone's like, oh, this is crazy, New Orleans, so fun, right? Her is the casino, blah blah blah, and and we're talking to these two women, and I'm like, and the timing was incredible. I go. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, this is crazy. This is actually my first time going to a strip club. And they were like, really? That's wild. And right when we say that, the door guy sees me and Eric in line. He goes, oh, you two, that's two VIPs. <laughs> Open the front. You guys get back in here. Hell you guys yeah. get right back Cause he in. Said, Cause he heard y'all say Cause, that? No, cause he no, saw no. the stamps and he saw we were the two guys that oh, paid him to get in. Really? Really? Yeah. And so I, I looked down Looks and the two good. girls are like, oh really, this is your first time. <laughs> VIPs. VIP. And I was like, well, I meant tonight was like the first time. And I was trying to explain it and Eric just grabbed me and pulled me back in there. And then he we, goes, you have the photo? Yeah, I pulled it up. <laughs> I had regular? it pulled up. And so your Already on the wall. We found <laughs> thirty <laughs> minutes even gone. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's two smoking jokes. with the old lady and her, and her daughter. <laughs> There's a blow on your nose. <laughs> You're in different clothes somehow. Like yeah. well, how did you get that photo? <laughs> that's not me. I swear this is my first. Time. Oh, your first time. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Strip Club. I oh, do that pose. I'm in my first time tonight. No, but anyway, so we go in there and. uh we actually met a nice lady who let us take a picture of us tipping her with the. Yeah, but she originally she she came and she goes, "What are you boys doing?" And she just grabs my dick. Oh, like that she is puts true, her yeah. hand on my. So dick. we already knew she wasn't playing by the rules. Yeah, she was cool. gonna let us snap some. She's photos. different. And then Enzo goes, "Oh yeah, check this out," and then he starts grabbing my dick. <laughs> Wait, they both go. Well, hold yeah. on, no, they're what? both they're both well, holding that's it. Some sheath underwear, that's for sure. That's he, so she's sure. like grabbing your balls, and Enzo kind of grabs the dick. Yeah, part yeah. Or... Pant, over the pants. <laughs> over, yeah, the over the pants. So we yeah. say, "Hey, uh, yeah, a dick's a dick." No, we go. We go. Um, <laughs> a dick's a dick, no matter how many. What layers. are you doing Saturday night? Would you like to come to a show? And she remembers. She goes, "I ain't doing shit Saturday night. <laughs> I ain't got no laugh." You got into the monster truck show? Well, we did. We did. Uh, so we said, all right, we'll you give you these monster tickets. Jam? We'll give you these tickets if we can take a picture. She's like, you can do whatever you want. So we took this picture. Let me see. Can we this is we, yeah. Don't show the viewers. This is for no, us. No, show the viewers. Oh, okay. No. So we tipped her. With Monster Jam with tickets. tickets to go to the yeah, Monster She put cool. the tickets in her panties. Yeah. <laughs> did you send her the, Did you send her this photo? <laughs> this is a dope ass photo. I don't think she had a phone. It's she probably saw it when I immediately switched it to my phone That's background. That's a sick photo. So, uh, <laughs> so Josh. Oh yeah. You can put it on on the camera. No, don't. No. We don't know this woman. No. Yeah. And she broke the rules and she grabbed yeah, your. Yeah, we yeah. broke yeah. the don't. rules because we got Josh, a, we got a huge New Orleans fan base. Josh so. went to ITT Tech, so he'll know how to. You got yeah. out the face. <laughs> 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 he learned that there. He could censor it. <laughs> he'll know how to <laughs> blur it out. <laughs> you Jesus, know what be, Eric. Come here, on. Here's what he we'll do. He did a we'll, stint we'll, at DeVry and ITT Tech. We'll put a picture in post. So what we're gonna do is let's. And I don't think she. I don't think she. Came. I bet she did. And then our boss was like, "So, did you give your those tickets to your friends?" We're like, "Yeah." <laughs> oh man, whatever. 
You said uh, the VIP thing. I thought you were going to say that guy was just go, you two, go. It was yeah. just that guy <laughs> from the other store. Like, these He's motherfuckers like, in New Orleans now. This dude works in Japan and New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, he travels a lot. We Wait. can't see it. No matter where we go, we can't see hot people. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, are you uh, uh Oh, I was going to say also Mexico City. You said you had a blast there. Mexico City was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was my first place. time there. What's yeah. that, like okay. Nevada? Is it like what? Mexico. Nevada. <laughs> Nevada. Where is that? It's Mexico City. Uh-huh. It's like Central Mexico. It's in Mexico, dude. What? It's in New it's Mexico. It's the, <laughs> the largest city of this hemisphere. Thanks, yeah. Anton. It's the largest city in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, this I hemisphere. Knew, I did know that. Did you? So, yeah. Dude, it's... Mexico cr- City's like... The, it's wild, the, dude. We rented, it's we rented scooters and rode through the traffic. The traffic is like just the craziest, wildest thing I've ever experienced. Yeah? It was so... What's st- it like just... Just bumper to bumper, Everybody's people just, pull, cutting everybody off. Have, yeah, you, have you ever watched Wild and Out? Wild and Out? That's the craziest thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> you got to check that out. If you if you love zipping around in a moped <laughs> in Mexico City, dude, Wild and Out's fucking crazy, wild dude. Wild and Out. Can we bring up what some Wild that? and Out clips? My God, Nick First Cannon, I was thinking of Wild dude. Boys, but uh, with Steve well, Owen. See, Josh knows. He didn't even put the A Oh, the Nick Cannon show. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know Wild and Out. That's like the live show where they do improv, they rap, battle. Oh, all my that stuff. God, dude. Ryan, you it? just saved this episode. <laughs> that doesn't look know, fun at all. Did, did you know I auditioned for this show? Did you really? Yeah. He yeah. Did. <laughs> And also Broco, right? Me. I was in New York. Uh, I went out there to record a thing for Broco. <laughs> I forgot about that wild. And it, uh, I didn't get on that either. <laughs> but then uh, the, while, the, while I was there, they were like, hey, there's auditions for Wild and Now. I didn't even know what it was. And they were like, you should do it. And I was like, uh, I looked it up on the internet. And I was like, oh, I'm going to be embarrassed because I can't freestyle. I can't improvise. You got to talk to my friend Pat Saroy. You have to freestyle jokes? No, they yeah. do a freestyle rap bat. Like a, this would be a lot Mama easier jokes. if we just played the episode. Dude. It was a pretty yeah. big room, and they had uh, you know, people filming my audition. There were just people around, and they were looking at you, and they first they were like, hey, do a, it was like five minutes of stand-up. And I did it. I bombed, so that's bad, because that's my strong suit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, it went okay. Yeah. But then they were just like, okay, we want you to do a freestyle. And they kind of, yeah, it was pressure. And I don't, I told them I didn't know how, but they were just like, yeah, but. Give it a shot he anyway. It. And then I just crushed. <laughs> no, no, I just <laughs> tapped Mom's into a talent I didn't know I had. on the Betty with the Medi and the machete. And I'm fucking zip, zap, zap, bop, bop. I'm Chris Tellers telling you all hell is raising because I'm in the hey. booth. See, I wish I would have done that. I was just like, I got a cat, I got a baseball bat, <laughs> hanging out with my bro Matt. You know? I just took listening a shot. Listening to where it's at. I just took a shot. Like, where it's at. This guy's going to be good. <laughs> They're just like, in the green light. But then the worst, they wanted me to do a rap battle against someone. And they had me, uh, they were like, imagine like, Nick Cannon is here, okay? And he's just rapping. Er, he, they explained to me I'm going against... So I did a Nick Cannon. Uh, I wrote a joke about it a while back, but it was true. I was like, I didn't know what to say, so I just said something about, hey, Nick Cannon, Mariah Carey should be fucking me. <laughs> and it, like, it just didn't rhyme or nothing. I looked over and I was like, it's all good. <laughs> it was, is she here? Nobody laughed. It was awful. It was awkward. That sounds... Yeah, that like, sounds I'm more of a mild and really in. Tough. So when you said guy. wild and out, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know... That's such a funny... St- I think I was laughing when I... I clearly didn't belong there, but I was... When you told me... I admire like, yeah, those I people just, that are on there. I just Holy fuck. did a wild and out audition, and I, I feel like I remember just laughing on the phone. I feel like I crushed it. <laughs> just, <laughs> well, I think you would murder on that show. I think you'd be no. so good if you just let... If you just would freestyle, right? I think you would do good. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you the you song you sang, uh, I Just Pissed My Pants at Mass? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. That killed... <laughs> I don't know me. this song. When did you sing? He just, just made it up at, at, the, yeah, at the lodge. It, there's the, the, a, yeah. Oh, you were there that night? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't there, but people I told got me in about the zone. it. I got in the zone for sure. And Dude, it was, was fucking I don't dipped. even remember. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ooh, piss my he pants. Piss my pants. <laughs> Being a visitor, I just piss oh, my pants. I'm supposed to be at mass. And then you go, you go, God, please forgive me. I piss my pants. <laughs> in mass, yeah. Was that at the bar you were just... Uh, you were just on one, the, right? Yeah, yeah I was in the zone. Dude, so, sometimes uh, somebody else was, was telling me he was crushing. It was sometimes you get in the zone. I, that. I, I stopped. I couldn't breathe I don't remember for like a minute. Oh, yeah. well, also, it helps when everyone that you're doing bits for is 
high as shit on mushrooms. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, the thing. So I'm sometimes just crushing with Eric all the time. He laughs real hard. I'm like, oh yeah, he's, he's like just high the happiest fuck. shroomed out guy here. And best everybody else. You are the not best. Always. You're not just no, an audience. Most of the time. You get not, it. You're not yeah. just an audience, but you have the best laugh and you have the best you're the best person to do bits with oh thanks jesus christ That's so sweet <laughs> chris can we get the room please yeah, yeah. chris uh, can we get go hang out with enzo josh you can stay josh. <laughs> in <laughs> fact record this. yeah don't he has stop to. he has his finger on the record button the whole time <laughs> when he lets go it doesn't record anymore he has to keep it <laughs> <Yes>. on there <laughs> his one finger's his all muscular <laughs> Jack. sounds better for the recordings <laughs> It records better. ITT tap, you know. <laughs> Damn, that was a quick pee. He's back. He's back. That How was did a, you not? So that was a non hand washing kind of. I pee. don't know. Man. Wait, what was my favorite part <laughs> about Mexico City? Right. We uh, Dick we went to the <laughs> the markets. So the market is like the biggest market in all of Mexico. It was so awesome. I think it was just all Mexico City. Oh, <laughs> well, it was a massive market, <laughs> wow, and it's so dude, it's so like stacked on top of each other, yeah. and like like the aisles are super thin, like it's very cluttered. It's just like it's madness. Yeah. But they sold uh, fireworks, so I bought this whole big bundle of ball rockets. I was like, perfect, we need this for our job. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we forgot it. We forgot. <laughs> we have to use this. So we never really they found it. took it away from us at the airport. We're not doing pyro. We're not really get. Oh, yeah. Do that just like that. Oh, that looks cool. Just food out everywhere. People were so nice. Like no one's like. Oh, that looks you. like a such an easy place to steal a bunch of shit. Oh, we stole. So, I mean, yeah, you could. Yeah, we would never steal. <laughs> okay. well, do they cut your hand no. off there? No. no, you're thinking of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. But they actually do that. I, I have a yeah. That's a fake hand he's got. No, but I. <laughs> he's got I, a fake hand. Did you see anybody that you were I just second hand like... know a story about that? About someone losing their hand? Yeah, in Saudi Arabia. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, uh, so I worked for. Wait, hold on. You, finish your thing first. No, this well, is this way, sounds let's way talk hand. Yeah, I cut off my thing too. So no, I worked, no disrespect. <laughs> I worked for a company and we built. Wait, know, wait. I got more on my wild and out story. Yeah, let's get back to this. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want to talk about a job you had. Okay, so what? Vic Cannon was there, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but Mariah wasn't. <laughs> All right, all right, back to the hand story. <laughs> uh, talk to the hand. Anyway, uh, the this company I worked for, we built museum exhibits, and I, I worked as a machinist for this company. And uh, oh, what are you guys showing? I was giving oh, her oh, the jewel. I see, sorry. So that, uh, oh, is this boring you, Ryan? No, I'm. I'm. Ju- I'm. Li- I can multitask. Okay. What'd you say? Wait, what'd you say? Wait, what were you saying? Well, the way it's always staring at him. I work with this company. We built, boring, huh? we built museum exhibits. And uh, we worked for, we were working on this one that was in Saudi Arabia. That really shows how wealthy Saudi Arabia is. They were outsourcing to Austin, Texas. Yeah. Like, that is a wealthy country. Yeah. And so we were building like a royal family museum there. Well, people just like building us, bro. exhibits. And it, and it was in Riyadh. And so every once in a while, we'd have to send people over there to work and install these exhibits that we built. And uh, it never got finished. Uh, but uh, the one of our coworkers went over there, and he was working on the exhibit. Then he went to the market, and he went on a day where someone got caught stealing. It, and uh, they Ooh. intentionally saw him as, like, the only Westerner. And they're like, come, come. And they grabbed him. And they made him watch. They wanted him to see it, and they made him watch. Oh, to tell the this story. guy. I don't remember if they made this him guy, watch somebody get their hand chopped. It was off. either a finger or a hand. I can't remember, but they made him watch oh. someone think, get. This was in Riyadh. I think it's it was in Riyadh. Yeah. I wonder if the guy that got caught was at like my biad. <laughs> like my bad. No, man. they I they have that got you. No, Saudi no. Arabia. I believe it's Saudi Arabia has one of the biggest. Yeah, like um, uh, outdoor book, <laughs> outdoor bookstores. Really? And it's like in an alley. It's like that how that Mexican market looked. Whoa. And all the books are in that nobody steals. And that, that, like the Huffington Post or some shit did like this whole beautiful story about it where they're like, yeah, this is what's so wrong with America. It's like they can have an outdoor bookstore over here. I don't know if it's Saudi Arabia. It might it might actually be that one of the first ones. In a, and and like, they're like, it's just so beautiful that people just don't steal over there. And it's like, yeah, because they'll cut your fucking hand <laughs> off. It's not because people are like they're scared in Japan. Like, but imagine, but imagine you're at work. You get you go on a work trip and you come back. You're like, yeah, I had to watch a guy get his hand get I cut know. off. And yeah, like HR in Texas has to be like, well. 
Uh, we can give you. Were they wearing cowboy hats? Off, I guess. Yeah. Or what do you think happens though? Do you think blood spurts out like in the movies? I'd be interested to see he, that. Yeah, yeah. Did they cauterize it right away? No, he said they had it like wrapped up in a towel. And they cut through the mm. thread on, and they didn't even do a tourniquet like or nothing yeah, before. That's the thing. You walk around I don't know, and hand. you know what? I'm I'm more inclined to say it was a finger. It's definitely and not a finger. A hand. They do. Finger. I think the hand thing is is more. Uh, they'll take your hand, but I think it's more. That's more of. A, I think for the sake of telling the story, you should always just go definitely. It was hand. the arm, the whole arm. <laughs> just don't take yeah. my butt also, cheeks, yo. Our, take my fingers, but not our, my butt. Our close personal friend, and he still has it. He went. I it was where I met him working at this company, and when he went over to Saudi Arabia, he bought a rug and it was a rug that depicted an airplane flying into the twin towers no way <laughs> yeah. love that shit yeah. 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 why did you rug. buy that what did you buy that no he bought it and brought it back oh yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. it's on display at a museum <laughs> oh my god in japan they don't lock their bikes up at all because no one steals why? Really? Yeah, seriously. They'll get their yeah, yeah, Kuzo they just, ass. No, arm they just, chopped off. That's just like the culture. <laughs> no, that's not even. It's really. It's an honor based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you'll see rows and rows of bikes not locked. You know, somebody gets their bikes stolen. So they're like, saying, fuck, why me? Out of everybody here in Japan, I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm hearing a scheme. I'm going to yeah. get me a passport. <laughs> Goes bike stealing. Next Tuesday, I just have like 17 Japanese made bikes behind you me. You flew with all of them? I flew with all of them, baby. It cost a lot. Oh, oh, they're already they're coming to get you. There's is you it go. time to go? This isn't live, is it? I don't know if the audience can even already. hear, but there's a... So we bought a whole bundle of fall rockets from the Mexican market. There we go. Let's get back and, to the fireworks. Uh, we're, it's like 2 a.m. We're riding bikes around the city. And we're like, dude, let's start setting these off. We don't really know how what they're going to do. And they didn't really... They weren't very powerful, but they just made a little pop. We're, it was pretty loud. The, we'll yeah. We're, we're shooting them down the street. We're shooting them in parks. And then it's really hard to be mischievous in Mexico City because there's cops there's everywhere. So many cops. There's also people. It's like New York. There's just always people around. Are they like around. real cops though? Or are they oh, they're like... real cops. It says oh. policia. Do you ever see anybody and you're like, that guy's right? probably in the cartel? <laughs> what? You can't even spell the name right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are some Holy fake cops. Shit, bro. I never thought about that. Did but you like, ever... we, this cop pulled up beside us and literally slowed all the way down by our bikes. And we're like, oh, fuck, dude, we're about to get busted. But then he fucked off. And they're like, we should probably stop. So the last night we were there, we're like, let's just go give these out. So I have like this whole bouquet of ball rockets. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to give them away. No one's taking them because everyone, they probably think I'm trying to sell them. Yeah. And I'm even saying in Spanish, like, cogete, cogete, which means rocket. And they're like, no, oh. gracias. You should have said gratis. Well, gratis. no, I started saying oh. cogete gratis. And they're still like, no, no. I was like, and I got to figure out something different. So I see this little kid. Probably seven or eight, just sitting down eating. I'm like, oh, I just figured out something different. <laughs> so <laughs> we're about to make some money, boys. So I show him my sheath under. Call my mom because I'm paying the phone bill. No, I see him and just randomly I go like, hey, Chico, Feliz Navidad. And I give him a bigger firework. He's like, oh, gracias. I was like, dude, that's it. Feliz Navidad. Oh. So for the next three hours, we just walked around the city handing out ball rockets to people. Same police, same police, Dodd, and they're like, "Oh, thank you." And they would just take them. Yeah, and wow. some of them were. Uh, we started giving them people who were smoking cigarettes, so they would just light it right away. I was gonna street, say you walk dude. away and you just see me and your. <laughs> dude, we would <laughs> walk away and just like there's everybody was lighting them in the streets. Are it they was, legal there? I have no idea. I don't think they so. were selling them at the market. I don't think you're yeah. yeah, probably. And they were like, we can't lives. get in trouble because we don't even have a lighter. Yeah. We're just giving these away. We're, How was the? Uh, we can't. We can't get in trouble because we're American. Yeah, that too. How was the uh, food down there in Mexico? So, uh, so good. I kept getting yeah. mole. I love mole. Oh, me too. Yeah. And Eric yeah. was like, uh, Eric was like, why do you keep getting that? Mole is gross. And I was like, what? And he was I like, I grew up with shit. He grew up, well, hold on. All right. Well, my mom used to be okay, the shark here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Blue Gatorade, my Jesus. Ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, we're, uh, I'm like, dude, try this. How can you say that? Because Eric grew up, ha half his family's Mexican. Yeah. And so Oof, he was like, oh, dude, half. no. That's rough, man. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's only half that sucks that the other half isn't Mexican. Well, nice but, say. Yeah, yeah. But it's also like, <laughs> go. <laughs> it's very uh, on the border, border Mexican. It's yeah, very different culture your, than central Mexico. Does your family just Sandwiches say go and tacos. instead of the AL? They only do half a goal. They don't watch soccer. That's the white side. They watch them. football? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> football. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, uh, what the hell were you talking about? I got racially <laughs> distracted. What the fuck racially were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so bottle. So think about your family or the so what were you mole. saying? Mole. We were talking about mole. Wild and out. So uh, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I don't know. <laughs> Eric was like, dude, I grew up eating this. It's horrible. And I was like, no, you should try this. And so he tries some. And then he was like, this is incredible. We spent the next three days trying to find like the best mole. We went to so many restaurants uh. and we had one that was so good. Afterwards, Eric literally called his mom. <laughs> and was like, what the hell have you been feeding me in my whole life? <laughs> what and, was the uh, answer? His mom, we found out that she'd been just making mole out of the paste picante can. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Like, yeah. He had never, never had authentic. Also growing up, mole. my nickname was, oh, yeah, that's great. my nickname was Pincho Hoto Cocoate. <laughs> when? That? Growing up? Growing up, all my adolescent <laughs> life, my cousins would call Say me Pinche, Pinche Hoto Cocoate. Oh my God. And I always was always What's like, hey, cool. It means stupid gay peanut. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric's been getting made fun of for the same thing since he was yeah. a child. Stupid that gay peanut. Like, how long ago was that? <laughs> I felt like so recent. I'd probably say cashew, stupid gay cashew. Well, how would you say cashew uh, in Spanish? You just. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know. Is that Co a language? Cocoate is a peanut. How do you say cashew? I don't know. They just Ask don't Josh. have cashews. And we went to a Colombian party in Mexico. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was they did my like stepsister. Uh, uh, my stepsister <laughs> lives in Mexico in City. Oh, okay. shout out to my stepsis. And she invited us to cut this. That out. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, cut that out. We're not doing. <laughs> we don't do shout outs do here. <laughs> shout outs. That's a no no. That's what one rule we, we don't do. No shout outs. Porn, Am I allowed to shout out people I'm madly in love with? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, well, shout out Eric's sister. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll keep that. Uh, that's a loophole. That's a loophole. <laughs> make that's sure that's to loophole. make that part. Love loud. is a loophole. Yeah, we'll make that part you know, louder. There's a. I was gonna say I have a kind of a secondhand story. It definitely is, but like I heard secondhand stories are just as dangerous as firsthand. Really? Yeah. No, I heard they're worse. We're just for, telling you. We'll story. breathe this one in, baby. <laughs> I, Listen, I my buddy it, will. <laughs> I know a bar you can still do secondhand. Like I don't story there. tell. I don't story tell. So like when I'm in a room and I'm getting a secondhand story, I ju I feel it just like fucks me up. Well, we're Dude. about to we're about to <laughs> see we're about to see if that's true because here we go. Story from it. But did you? There's a, a play in Mexico. Isn't it called like Montezuma's Revenge? Right. Yes. That's the ones that make you drink you, the water. Makes you shit real hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So my friend Will told me he was in Mexico visiting like his friend's family. Like they just went out there together. And my friend Will, super white guy. I mean, he, he was wearing all the time these like American flag shorts. <laughs> but it, he's just like such <laughs> he a funny. Like a dude. Super he's super white guy. He's hilarious. Like he almost knows what he looks like. Like he plays a role like to be funny and shit. And so he goes out there. And he eats Montezuma's Revenge, and he said he had the shit so bad. Wait, he, wait, Montezuma's Revenge is the diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, or he ate like something and getting, got Montezuma's yeah, Revenge. Yeah, it's Mont just okay. getting food poisoning in he Mexico. Ate someone's they diarrhea. call it Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> but uh, he said he went to this uh, friend's place, and uh, they had like a like a farmland kind of area, and he was looking for somewhere to shit, and he didn't know where the restroom was. So he saw these uh, bricks stacked up, and there was like a, a a tire on top, like a car tire on top. And he was just like, oh, okay. And he just went and just sat on the tire and just shat. <laughs> and this thing with all the bricks, and we got out, he came around, and they were looking for him, and they were they found out he shat in there, and they're like, dude, that's our fucking grill. <laughs> <laughs> they had like a thing that they put over the tires, and they used to make <laughs> shit. And then he just visited from the States and just shat <laughs> in like a handmade <laughs> grill they <laughs> made. <laughs> I think he thought it was like a handmade toilet. <laughs> with a tire? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? No, I'm sorry. Was... But we, we were so unwelcomed at this party that uh, we found out they had poppers because they had this like picture uh -huh. with like an old popper thing on it. Like, oh, dude, I think they have poppers. Let's ask them. So I was like, things, are, things aren't going <laughs> you well. You would. <laughs> I was like, things aren't going well. No one's talking to us. This is a way to like find a medium between us and, are and you we can ingratiate ourselves only yeah, americans yeah. only americans yeah, only english only speakers ones, yeah, only okay. not colombians except her sister that's venezuelan and that shout I love out very much. also shout out to your stepsis <sighs> i can bro you have no idea <laughs> 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 so you're like wait well, i have drugs maybe we'll we'll do a, a friendly swap this will we'll be this will be the thing that in 10 minutes when we're getting like lifted yeah, off the ground yeah. everyone's bread like breaking. go yeah. go yeah, yeah. go yeah. yeah so i go to the guy i'm like hey do you have you have poppers? And they all kind of look at the guy and they kind of look at us like, oh Guess shit, they, they know what poppers are? <laughs> I, I think that was part of it too. They didn't expect us to know what poppers You're were. very straight, man. You guys don't seem like popper guys. So the guy reluctantly- oh, you guys are straight? Uh, pulls out the popper bottle <laughs> and like he does it first. And he's like, this is how you do it. I was like, yeah, dude, I know how to do it. I'm a cool guy. Mm -hmm. So I do it. Enzo does it. And like we have a good time. And then like 
maybe an hour goes this by. This is when I knew this was beyond repair, that these guys were going to hate us. Maybe like an hour goes Cause, by. Because of this exact thing. <laughs> and, and I'm hanging out with my sister, and she's like, oh, I, I like poppers also. Like, dude, let's do poppers together. Because we just, this is like our second or third time like yeah, ever like meeting, yeah. hanging out. Like, this, oh, is, yeah. this is us bonding. So I go back to the group, and I go, hey, uh, anybody got, you got the... Can I see those poppers? And they all look at me. They look at the guy, and the guy goes, "No, I." <laughs> no, I. That means there's no more. Which means no there's more. No more. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's not, not how poppers work. work. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there was a terrible spilling accident. Yeah, there's that, it's, it's gonna last a while. It's huh? a bottle that lasts yeah. like two years. They just don't want to be. <laughs> Uh, they don't want to share with they you guys. They did not. Yeah, yeah. Share and I was like, and, and at first I was like, I got mushroom chocolates and uh, weed edibles, and they're all like. We got those. Yeah. <laughs> Do those make our buttholes bigger? <laughs> or looser? <laughs> yeah. It's also worth mentioning we were the only not jacked guys at this uh, party. Enzo oh, was the only on. not jacked guy. You guys are guy. jacked. Enzo was the only not jacked guy. So this was a gay party. <laughs> I was jacked. There, there was a, it, was it was gay host. It was gay, it was gay yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were really sweet and nice, but everyone else was uh, just... No, they weren't. I'm not even going to... I'm not <laughs> home. Like, they sucked. No, they sucked. Jacked. They were really unwelcoming. <laughs> they made no effort to make us feel welcome. We tried to get them to light a firework in the house to trick them, but they were... Too smart for that. Yeah, they didn't yeah. do it. Did yeah, you ever it run into like you? Were trying to trick them. <laughs> like, what even? They said. Like, I don't know what Eric's like, talking about there. Fleece Navidad. They, they, <laughs> they didn't suck. This was they before just... Fleece Navidad. Oh, okay. Fleece yeah. Did you guys uh, while you were in Mexico? Did you see any cartelly looking people? And you were just like, I think oh they shit. Kind of. I think in Mexico I think they City the they kind of. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Wow. Oh my god! Clip it. Clip it. Zoom in. Make that part loud again. Make that part loud. They all look the same. Here he did it. Weird thing about Mexico City was it was so hard to keep up on the fitness. Everybody was looking pretty good out there. No fitness, uh, dick and balls in your mouth. Oh baby. my god! Oh, again, yeah. god damn it! <laughs> no. No, it Clip it! it. Oh no! It We're podcasting, baby. Where were you on that sting. one? Jeez, I was waiting for it, and it didn't. Have I the was same like, sting. "What the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> fitness, god damn, that was worse than the wipe. <laughs> the wipe one. I got wiped wipe, and I got fitted. And oh. hope that everybody's gonna get me now. I hate this. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next week we'll have Wilma. You guys know Wilma? <laughs> no, yeah. you guys already know her. Fuck. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how do you know it's the same one? All right. <laughs> Wait, have, you actually, have you met Wilma in Mexico City? Yeah. No, she's been coming to the lodge. Who's Wilma? I respect that you. <laughs> You're set up. Go. Who well, is Wilma? You got will my nuts fit in your mouth? Okay. Yes, they will. God damn it. Uh, yeah, they will. <laughs> yeah, they will. That one didn't. Yeah, uh, that felt like mouth. a pity one. I'll take it. But yeah. you really, I couldn't believe I had. You to really set stage up. mommed him through that. Come on, Chris, smile. <laughs> when Eric, say the when nuts Eric part. said, "Who's Wilma?" I was so shocked I forgot what the fucking punchline. Was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, what luck!" It's gone. did someone on the last episode get a fitness? Is that what? No, it? that's a new one. That's okay, how I fell for it. So damn. Real like uh, no. <laughs> we're podcasting, baby. We're podcasting. Well, guys, we are got running out of time because oh, Ryan. Well, I, Ryan I want to stay, but Ryan has to go get I a tattoo. Stay, it's stay. his birthday. We, go, we don't. Yeah, we got, we got a few minutes. He's getting matching tattoos with someone, and that person's just waiting out the tattoo parlor right now. Um. Right? Yeah, I'm getting. Have you all seen? So I'm getting a tattoo from a movie. Have you all seen American History X? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite. <laughs> Movie. I haven't, but that's, that's a get, very get, funny joke. I'm getting, a ta- I'm getting a tattoo from that movie. <laughs> it's just, it's a picture. It's, right it's a tattoo chest. of a curb. <laughs> I mean, no, we should have ended three Norton seconds has ago. A giant swastika on his chest is the joke. But I'm, oh, not, yeah. I'm not getting a giant. They I can't afford it. a giant one. I'm getting a small swastika. On my chest. <laughs> yeah, but he redeemed himself. Getting a two inch flash. Yeah, I gotta go back and because the chest hurts, I gotta go back yeah. over and but over. It's like that the is Buddhist, funny. It's I'd, the Buddhist swastika. I'd love it's to not see the Nazi swastika. <laughs> speaking of uh, flash tattoos. speaking of all this, <laughs> right? I had to do two shows with Kanye last year. Had and they were, to. And they were the worst, most unorganized shows. He's like a crazy, awful person to work with. No. And now mm-hmm. after all this, I'm like, yes, I never have to work with, do a show for you him again. You did pyro for him? What'd you do with Kanye? They did the burning house during the Don. We did, uh, we did Don the One, which was all the, we made it look like Cloud City. Sure. If you look close enough I'm, when it's I on fire, you could see Eric Kanye. run out of the house while it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, yeah, Don the Two, we set the house on fire. They were really pr- beautiful shows. They're beautifully shot and like they look cool, but working in like with his team, Fucking awful, dude. And they want so you to bad. set it all back up for dude, the week. like entitled or what? What? How awful? Just entitled, you? not not organized at the slightest. Just Did you see him? Did you, uh, dude? So we, for the Donda one, we left work, 
We were there for like 15 hours. My boss Down and I, one? Donda, that was the name of the album. We go to the bar, and it's like our first drink. We're so tired. And they call us and like, hey, Ye wants to see uh, the smoke machines on. Like, he wants to see it now. And we're like, nothing's even powered on. We have no power. It's going to take up to two hours. Oh, he ain't going to like that. He's not going to like that. <laughs> and he's not going to understand that there's no power. He's like, what you talking about? Yeah. So we had to Jesus. go you back. About Willis? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what that was? That. <laughs> we had to go back. He was going to be y'all? like, Say did y'all do this? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, there's Eric. That's it. Is that Eric in the red jacket on stage? Yeah. No. <laughs> I think that's clear. Drake was there too. I wasn't on this one. I was, <laughs> I was on this one. Yeah. So, so we go back and, and fear we, of the, the, walking dead. the stage yeah. is like this giant concrete like circle in the middle of the, the arena. Wow. We can probably pull it up. But uh, oh, I saw the house. There's a there picture of the house up there. So the <laughs> <laughs> just sneakers. The the guy who called us said that he personally wanted to talk to us. Oh, fuck. So we it's walk. It's an up. honor and a privilege. I'm, I'd walk, be scared. We walk up know, to the thing on top of the stage, and he's there, and he's in a he's in a circle <laughs> of like fifteen what? people. They're all smoking weed. There's three camera guys just to like film them, mm-hmm. and my boss and I are like, Mister Yi. <laughs> like trying to get his attention, and right before we we start to talk to him, the guy, the the like production manager, comes and grabs us. Like, no, 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 come talk to me. I need to talk to y'all over here. So we almost got to talk to him. So okay. I'm glad we didn't, because I am not a fan. It seems like he'd be a dick. He's such a dick, dude. He's an insane person. Like yeah, he's literally he's like mentally insane. Yeah. It'd be cool if I met him, and he goes, "Hey guys, thanks for doing the show tonight. Really nice to meet you guys." <laughs> yeah, he's just like a normal. You guys need to come out to my condo in <laughs> New Orleans next time you're in town. I just have the most exquisite croissants. Yes, everybody just says I'm norm- crazy, but I'm a pretty no. good guy. I'm actually, that's just a caricature <laughs> that I do. Uh, fuck that guy. You gotta he come sucks. see my menorah collection. It's <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a thing with him being crazy where he's like saying crazy stuff, but now he's like denying the Holocaust. <laughs> That's that's insane. <laughs> that's like truly like, bro. Oh, well, did you see him on the Alex Jones? We all uh, it, the, the fact that he's wearing we all that know mask it never being crazy. You don't need is, to bring it up. It's something. <laughs> Do you still listen to his music? Oh, every second. Yeah. I'm, right now I'm the listening. Is... I can't even hear a word you're saying. <laughs> Shows I got... you, if you're a really good uh, hey, songwriter, you could be as crazy as you want. Because <laughs> I mean, like, if he didn't make all those amazing Dude, songs, the, the no second show, the second show, he went on six hours late, which is rude. And, six uh, hours late. Six hours late. And people stuck around. Yeah, the that's whole time. That's fucking. That's crazy. So I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm on the call on what cams. Show, what time did the show start? It started at like 10. Oh, 6 a.m. What <laughs> time was it supposed to start? It was supposed to start at like eight or nine. No, it was supposed to start at maybe eight. That means it would start like at two a.m. or something. So maybe no, maybe it was not at that late. Maybe because I think it started yeah, at like eleven. Went at four a.m. I think it went on at Don't eleven. Put that on, yeah. It was Donna four hours. So he was an hour late. It was an hour. He went on at eleven. That is a big day Yes, he went on an hour late. You're like six hours late. <laughs> <laughs> Unprofessional. He ran over many people when he got there and killed them. <laughs> well, no, they, oh, he ran over a curb. I figured he ran over a curb. <laughs> he killed. I them. thought it was people. But it was <laughs> yeah, it was a curb. <laughs> Uh, that's the house you lit on fire? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I remember uh, when you were doing yeah, that's that, all you right. sent me you some had more flames. behind-the-scenes photos. I shouldn't have been sending them to me, but... <laughs> I did not do that. I showed everybody at work. <laughs> yeah, you guys I work did at okay. a dildo oh, yeah. factory. And then the Migos were there. <laughs> yeah, the that's, that's all right. That's good work, I guess. You guys are all right. Another dead celebrity. Dude, Marilyn Manson was there. Okay, now we're that was, talking. It was so weird. Now we're talking <laughs> now my language. Talking the beautiful his whole, people. His whole big posse came out, and then like it's just there he like is right there. all these people, and then Manson and two other goth people. Like it was so out Dude, of place. Dude, when I was seventeen, I worked like event staff at concerts and stuff, and I remember walking backstage once in the parking lot, and we like three of us walked by the whole group of Orgy, the band Orgy, and it was just like they were walking in line all dressed together, and they were wearing their crazy clothes. And they walked by. <laughs> I just wanted to go like fucking douchebags or something like that. <laughs> I did that. Fucking idiots. With their one song. Fuck yeah. That was a cover. Yeah, they were amazing that night. Yeah, I love it. Orgy, orgy was is. just being orgy. Yeah, yeah. I've, being har- I, I've hardly had a threesome, <laughs> let alone an orgy. But you have? No, hardly. Oh, okay. That's a, two is the max I've got. Two people in the bed. Me and the other person. If you fuck. That's hardly a threesome. If, if you, <laughs> that's going to be the clip for the show. <laughs> from a, hardly a threesome. <laughs> the yeah, Chris, I have a Chris real is question. doing the timestamps, and now he just posts. He could do the timestamps, too. I could, but it's funny. He just posts clips. Uh, every time I just say I don't get laid. Just one <laughs> time. <gets> <laughs> it happened once. Six hours late. <laughs> if you, I'd if, love to pre 
prematurely ejaculate, but this was six hours late. See, if, if, see you're, no, you're giving me too many timestamps here. <laughs> If you finger someone while your dick is in the sheath pouch, is that a threesome? Let me think about Technically, because your balls are in the pouch, that's closer to a fourzy. Oh. Anyway, what else do you guys talk about? Did you guys <laughs> ever see that movie Garfield? <laughs> just kidding. No, I got to go. So we are what do we care time. about? What are you trying to get us to well, care I about? Well, I think about the GameStop thing. I, we have a couple minutes. Care right about GameStop? <laughs> Uh, well, I guess the care thing, uh, I, I, what would you say you guys theme on this episode was? We need a monster title. trucks. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, monster monster trucks. yes. Monster trucks. This is why you should care and, about And before trucks. we end the episode, can I tell you this? 2,500 horsepower. All right. Think For people that. who know cars, we'll listen that. to that. No, there's 2,500. My Nissan's probably that's Josh, a lot. Is that a lot? Do you know no, I know. That's I thought it was more. That's uh, insane. Dude, my Nissan horsepower? Sintra's probably got that. What's sorry. like an average car's horsepower? Like 100. Oh, Okay. Maybe. That sounds like a lot of power. <laughs> a lot of horses. That's a lot All of right, horses. well, I'm going to give this topic a zero. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, on the care. Don't uh, do an F-350. Do an F-150. Before we get into the care meter. Five, okay, well, now it sounds not cool. What'd you say, 2,500? That's with the EcoBoost. So Any, it's just like man. four 2,500. Wait, no, horsepower. Google that, laptops, Josh. How, how much horsepower monster trucks have? Because I thought it was more. Twenty five. Right, well, we're looking this up. Uh, we're gonna close at the same time. Um, let people know where they could find you guys, uh, or if you have anything 15, coming up, wow. people should know about. Not that okay. impressive. Enzo. That's it. Yeah, that. not that impressive. The oh, hell? that's on Monster Jam one hundred and one. Yeah. Uh, didn't you say twenty five hundred? Yeah, yeah. it's fifteen hundred. My bad. God, oh, there is egg All on right, your I guess face. we shouldn't egg care. On yeah. your face. Fuck Monster Jam. Not too. enough power. They're huge. Fuck, it's yeah. so loud. <laughs> uh, extra underscore medium underscore Eric. On no, the okay. gram. Oh, First of the all, Raminator. Uh, oh, what was you it? asked me that. Oh, Extra. there we go. <laughs> if you put boost on it, you get up to 2,500. Oh, See, he's not fully lying. It says Bose. Lying. It does say Bose. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. But okay, it says you just it's got supercharged. egg whites on your face. Just egg whites, not the yolk. How many PSI they run in the supercharger? Dude, Josh. All right, let's move on. PSI. Who gives a shit about these big old... I want to know how heavy are the truck nuts on these monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Google how heavy truck nuts. Because I've, I've, I've seen some truck nuts, some standard truck nuts on an F one fifty. Thirty inches. And if it's five times, they got to be a good huge, set of truck dude. Nuts. They got to be one hundred and fifty pound truck nuts. Uh yeah, why should we we'll care? call the episode truck nuts? Yeah. Monster truck. Yeah, we're monster yeah. truck. Nuts. Right, well, oh, first, here's because uh, uh, if you don't care, they'll run over your car. Yeah, they do that a lot. Okay, I've seen roadhounds. And if you don't care, <laughs> I haven't. We're out of a job because they took away pyro. Yeah, they stopped doing pyro monster jam. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping they'd do it so I could try to get a plus one. Yeah, I want to get that. <laughs> that was already my brain was already going there. Or maybe they still Always do. Always looking they for the goddamn like hookup. Do. They don't do it at all. No. Even at the finals the, in Vegas? So the Ringling Brothers. No, not even. At the last <laughs> wow. one. Ringling Brothers? Wait, Ring monster truck rallies just don't happen at all? No, no, no they no, still no, have it. So Feld, the company is Feld Entertainment. They own the Ringling Brothers. Kanye. And Kanye, Monster Jam. <laughs> so whenever Tokyo. the... Because people were uh, uh, protesting the Ringling Brothers because of the animals. I remember They that. shut it all down. So they're like, well, because that was, that was like their big moneymaker. So they, they cut... So much stuff. I like remember they, I went to a Ringling. They Brothers do all the, the motocross stuff too. So they took away all the pyro and motocross. Essentially put us out of a job. But thankfully we haven't worked for them in years. So America, didn't affect America us at just all. isn't the same anymore. <laughs> no. no. Remember, uh, there was a Fourth of July event where you did the pyro and I went with you. It was on a golf course. Yeah, yeah. It was all I got to be like up on the truck to see the shit you work with, and there were all these like you know, tubes, and I'm just like, oh, and I'm looking over, and I'm on my phone, and Eric, like, so serious, looks at me, goes, hey, dude, get your phone out of here, uh, the static frequency will make him go <laughs> off, and he just looks so fucking serious, I was like, oh, shit, okay. Yeah, there is yeah, very rarely serious. But I was joking. <laughs> I know he was joking, but at the oh, moment, were? yeah, he was just totally kidding. But, well, that's not a thing. I've been told that when no. I worked for Pyrotechnico. Yeah, those guys like, are idiots. Too. I was sending a text, that he was like, hey, <laughs> it's dangerous. That's like, that there's a curse word in that text. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna hey, shoot those off. Bro, you're on, you're on set put your phone in pyro mode <laughs> like what the fuck airplane mode like that shit I, I never like, come put on my pyro phone. mode good I, guys <laughs> I fly, i'm the guy flying with my phone out of airplane mode no wi-fi i'm playing do you put it in airplane mode i never put it in airplane not. mode. i make it sometimes i toggle plane. just to fuck around dude there's no sinister. way that the tech is that bad that we have to put our phones in pyro, or in pyro just, mode you pay for <laughs> <laughs> <In pyro> mode. <laughs> Okay, we got we do got to get here. Uh, yep. What are your, your Instagram handles and where could people find you? Extra, if you got anything up? It's plug time, baby. Extra underscore medium underscore Eric. 
And then on OnlyFans, Rip Riley. And How do you look? Is that uh, an at? How do you do? I've never been on OnlyFans. I think you just search you Rip, Rip Riley, Riley on OnlyFans. R I P R I R I L E Y. Rip Riley. The way it sounds. <laughs> Rip Riley. How about so you? It didn't sound it? like that. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound like you're right. You changed it up. You both looked at me like you didn't know I had Rip one. Rip Roy. No, I knew you had one. I just I didn't know you had one. Just Are you saying, why don't you subscribe really to Well, there's much. no one I look at and I go, I wonder if they do or do not have an OnlyFans <laughs> account. Yeah. That's my first thought on people. I go, no. I see Air Enzo walking in with the my, children's uh, center t shirt and his uh Daisy Duke shirt. Enzo, and I go, that guy's got an OnlyFans. And so is my one. director of photography for oh, yeah? my OnlyFans. Who Thanks, does buddy. your pyro? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would? Enzo, I outsource it. <laughs> Enzo, what's your Instagram and your only? Uh, my Instagram <laughs> is at Bluegill Forge for my machining, metal work, and you still uh, don't do swords, work. huh? No swords. Ish. Bluegill swords Forge minus the swords, and my only fans is Tom Wanks. If you want to look that up, is that real? Right. No, <laughs> I <won't> believe. <laughs> All right, well, Enzo also a uh, super funny comic in town. So oh, thank you. yeah, if you guys just got a show out there, Eric's get him on. Go check, <laughs> go check him out. I'm retired. You know? And Eric is time to time a comedian, but you know <laughs> when he goes to do, I don't know. He, we'll, we'll get you on a show. Thanks, Eric. Chris. Right, that's what I'm talking about. I'm Chris. as time to time as he is. Huh? Yeah, we should do a show together. Actually, that's not true. I did uh, two shows this week. Hey, oh. I did the show six months ago. I wait, I did your show like five months ago. Two shows this week. I did one six months ago. Dude, yeah? I, I've Stop been working out on when, making bombs in my basement when Chris, for e when Chris books me on Shit's Golden again. Thanks, you, buddy. You, you have a walk on spot anytime. You know that. Thanks, man. All right. Oh, God, we shouldn't have gone that long. All right. <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram is at hi, Chris Tellez. Uh, that's, or you could just, yeah, there's a link in my bio with all my shows. Uh, make sure to go to comedyfrequency.com. Subscribe to all the podcasts on theirs. But if you're only going to do one, just do ours and uh, get a pair of sheaths because I don't think we've sold a pair. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, you got anything? Um, Ryan, I what just, you got? I just want to say, I want to do a final uh, exit announcement and just say, if if you got somebody around near you that you love, hug them. Uh, if you, because they might walk <laughs> off the show. So they, might, they, might, they might immediately get up and walk off. They might. Uh, no, I don't have anything, and I really try. I keep and doing take this a chair every, every episode. I try and think of something. You ever I, had those Chinese nothing. energy drinks, M one fifties? Your big energy drink. No, right? dude, we'll, I've only we'll been to Canada. About, right, so I haven't traveled the fucking world like you they guys. They sell them in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should. So you Can I say one thing? Yeah. I love you. All right, well, we're going to do the care meter. I give this, what do you give it? Monster <laughs> truck? I mean, what are, yeah, what are we caring about? Monster Everything. Uh, New Orleans. Monster trucks. Uh, the, the whole to the experience. Their friend, the Enzo and Eric friendship. Bottle rocket yeah. to Mexico. Enzo and yeah, Eric yeah. friendship. That's what it should I'm a been. 10 out of 10. 20 out of 10. Oh. I love friendship. I love 21 passion. out of 11 I'm not for a good May. friend. I'm not a great <laughs> friend, but I love friendship. Yeah, you never text me back. He doesn't do that with anyone. <laughs> Join the club. I don't do that with my friends. <laughs> 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 All right, oh. guys. Thanks so much uh, yeah. for listening. Uh, big shout out to Eric's sister and uh, <laughs> <laughs> to our friends from Quiet Company taking us out. Yeah, and slip it up. And dip it <laughs>